Initialization checks commencing. Power is at a nominal operating level. Wireless communication network link has been established. 3D camera is active. Controller link has been established. Jetson bot now active, awaiting commands. Please clear the immediate area. JetsonHacks.com. Today we're adding sound to the Jetson bots. Sounds a very important component of roboting. I've added a few sounds here, a little music you heard at the beginning, some robotic types of sounds. Not that one. Please don't do that. No, don't don't do that kind of sound anymore. No, 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 don't. We're not doing that, okay? That's a wannabe poser move, okay? Don't do that. And the idea behind this is that you can make the robot feel much more interactive just by adding sound. So for example, if I turn on the follower mode. Following mode engage. You can see it's relatively interesting when you're just playing with it. Disengaging following mode. But it just feels much more interactive when there's actually sound involved. So let's see how to install the sounds. Today we're going to install some speakers and sound on the Jetson bot. I have some Sonifer CRS speakers. Let's open them up and see what they look like. They're six watt, two inches. So, let's take a look. Three-year warranty. Three-year warranty. So they're nice and small. Driver, this appears to be the bottom. Nice little piece of Velcro here for the wiring. A twisty tie. I think it has more than enough wire here. 
for our purposes. Here's some volume control. This is a USB design, so you plug the USB in here to power the speakers, and this goes into the audio jack. So let's have a go at putting these on the Jetson box. So let's take off the top deck here. Undo the USB connections. Off it comes. So our choices are, you can mount it on the second platform here, the second story, uh, that seems a little crowded. I think what a more interesting situation would be is to mount it underneath, on the un underneath of the platform. We have a little bit of room there, there's not as much wires. We also need to address some of the cable management here. So let's take off the second story. Unplug the create base. Base aside. Let's mount the speakers. We'll flip this over. Our, our trusty ruler. Speakers come with some rubber feet on it. Take those off. We we'll just use our trusty click tape to mount these. Looks like these need to be cleaned up a little bit. And you know what that means. The only one on the show who needs no introduction, but gets one anyway. Mr. Isopropyl Alcohol. The fans love it. Clean white cloth. There's some of the gunk. And we'll clean off the underside of the platform a little bit. And now we're ready for some tape. So we we'll cut off a generous amount here. Up the matching side. Line these up with the ruler. in place. Next thing we want to do is put our volume control in. It's a little rat's nest of wires. Tighten that up. Try 
try to mount it right about here. Get some more click tape. So we want to be away from the side where the USB comes in from the Jetson. Here. We have a wiring mess we're going to have to deal with. This audio signal is going to go up to the Jetson, and this is going to go into the USB hub. First, let's take care of the back. Just going to use some packing tape to secure the wire here. And that should keep it out of the way. Keeps it out of the way, but we can move it around if we need to later. So up top, kind of have a wiring mess also. We do know be able to plug in the USB that goes right here. We do know that we will have to run the audio up to the next board. tells us that we need to start tying this baby together right about here. Not the best. We'll probably be able to rewire it when we're a little more confident that that's the way we want it. But that comes later. I think we'll put on here or two. And we can put this back on the create base. Okay, let's put the platform back on. Let's put that down for the time being. We're ready for the next deck. Screw in the top deck. And one more. And we're ready. Put 
then the USB, and then the sound. Sound first. USB. This goes to the hub. And let's put a couple of zip ties on here. A little bit more organized, not much. Run this under here. Plug into the hub. And we'll put one more zip tie on here to tie these guys back here together. Then the create base. Looks like it's ready to try out. 